Hi there, I'm Oliver and welcome to this short tutorial on using the timeline in Video Scribe for your browser. So we're going to show you how to manage the order and timing of your elements using both the simple and the advanced timeline options. So let's start with the simple timeline, which is the default view. So this timeline shows your elements in a selected scene as a series of tiles in the order that they'll animate. So for example, the first element here will be drawn first in the video. So the numbers on each tile here show the animation order, and you can see the timings for each element just below them. To change the order of your elements, to change the order that they appear in, simply drag and drop them into a new position like this. So you can see, now this element will take place after the previous one. If you want to exercise more precise control over your project, you can switch over to the advanced timeline with this toggle here. And you can see that the scene that I'm working on is highlighted and displayed at the top here. You can see now that my scene consists of several rows. Each of these rows represents an element, with the first element being at the bottom and the final element being at the top. Audio tracks are also displayed on the advanced timeline. You can see them at the bottom as waveforms here. The best part about the advanced timeline is the level of control it gives you over your timing of your elements. Particularly if you're syncing them with your audio, you can do it by eye using the advanced timeline. So you can adjust the animation timings on your advanced timeline by dragging the handles of any of your elements like this. And if you want to see any details on the animations for each of your elements, you can hover your mouse over the animation icon to get them here. And you can reorder your elements by dragging them up or down like this, similar to how you would reorder them in the basic timeline. There are a few view controls that you can use in your advanced timeline to get a better overview of your project. You can use the arrows to jump to the beginning or the end of the scene. You can use the sliders to adjust the row size and zoom in and out of the timeline so that you've got the greatest view over your elements in a given scene or in your project. And if your timeline is getting longer, you can use the scroll bars to navigate across it, making it easy to manage a more complex project. If you want to move to another scene, you can click on the grayed out scene next to the one that you're currently working on to jump to that scene. So there's a quick overview of how to use the different timelines in Videoscribe. Thanks for watching. 